Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so, uh, after this video, I'm going to upload um, my opening of my box that has that has my author's copies in it. But I kind of wanted to do something a little different on this channel and kind of review Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action version of, it's like, it's on Netflix. And so I kind of wanted to put my two cents into it because this is a video, no, sorry, this is a show that I was really interested in seeing a lot more than Percy Jackson. Uh, because I remember the cartoon, and I loved the cartoon. So, I'm like, you know, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to give this show a chance, and I'm going to see if it's better than Percy Jackson. So, <laughs> my thoughts. So, I've only watched the first episode because I don't have time to watch the other ones because i got to work tomorrow. However, I get off at 1 and when I come back, I will watch probably about two episodes of the, um, of the show. Alright, so, episode 1 is entitled A. And we... I will be very clear on this. I really did like the part where we see the annihilation of the earth, sorry, of the of the air nomads. I we don't see their deaths in the cartoon. We don't. We we see their we see their bodies and, and well not all the bodies but a couple of the bodies and that's it we we don't get the battle that is causes their deaths we don't I am going to say this I did pick up on the Easter egg with the comet I really did because at the very end of the whole thing spoilers alert a comet is actually what enables uh, the Fire Nation to get really, really, really powerful and all that. But it was really, it, 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 I won't say that I liked their deaths. I did not, but it was, it was interesting that they put that in the show. So yeah, so not, uh, not at all upset about that. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm losing my time. I gotta take my uh my antibiotics. All right. So there. Um, I have nothing against the actor who plays A. I think that he is. I think that he really does a decent job in showing how Aang is this carefree person and doesn't really understand about. Um, who he is and all that. Um, I did like the uncle. He is so darling. He's so, he is one of my favorite characters in Avatar because he's, he's a very much of a realist and his, um, his nephew is more of like, if I get the Avatar, I'm going to be able to go back home and he kind of knows that that's not going to happen. Um, Zuko, yeah, Prince Zuko, he, <laughs> the actor who plays him, does a great job of people hating him, <laughs> just, he does a great job in this, because, you know, it's like, we know what he's going to become, you know, at the end, but for right now, we kind of don't care, <laughs> we just like, why are you going after this cute little boy? He's so cute. I loved the flying bison. I really did. It was they're they're so they're so furry. I will I want I just want to go on the screen and just hug one. It was they're so adorable. Um and uh yeah. Um Uh, oh, 
I, I can't even pronounce I can't even pronounce his name. The the annoying brother that is still annoying. Um, I I'll tell you something. He's still annoying. This kid, this guy, he he's trying to be like this leader and stuff like that. And he's bossy and pushy, and he tells his sister what to do. He's just annoying. Yeah, he's annoying. He is so annoying. Um. So overall, overall. What is my opinion about the first episode? I really liked the scene. This takes place a hundred years before Aang is revived. I really liked seeing an earthbender. I thought that they did a great job with the CGI. And I know people are nitpicking and all this stuff and all this thing. I look, the CGI was a lot better than She-Hulk. We, I think any CGI is better than She-Hulk. Um, and the Emperor, which we know is dead. We know the guy's dead when Aang gets revived. This actor, I, I, I have never heard of him before. I, I, all, all, them. I can't talk right now. All of these actors I've never heard before, and it's like he just he just projects just about how evil he is, how how much he's he wants to take over everything, and. He just does a great job as being this guy that you just want to kill. He does not care about human life. He does not care about anything other than himself and his empire. And even though we know that he's dead, he's been dead for a long time, he's still an asshole. He's still, a, he's still an asshole. I, I did like the bending. I did like... I, I liked... I liked just everything about the episode. The episode was so much more pleasant to watch than Percy Jackson. And yes, people say, oh, it felt clunky. I don't even know what that freaking, I don't even know how you can tell if a script is clunky I or whatever. I don't even know how you can tell. So, Overall, this this show, as of what I've already watched, is a heck of a lot better than the movie. And I know people are going to get on here and say, I hated the first episode, I watched all the episodes, and I hate the show. And that's your right to hate the show as much as it my right to hate the Percy Jackson TV show. But... I really think that they did a great job with it. Um, I am not a nim picker. If I watch something, I'm entertained. I'm going to continue to watch it. Um, uh, and definitely, definitely, it was a lot more entertaining than Percy Jackson. Um, and yeah, you know, I heard that the creators of the of the anim of the anime left and stuff like that. But I really think that they just did a much better job um, than you know the movie did. But anyways, uh, that is my review of the first episode of the first season of Avatar: The Last Airbender. And so, like I said, tomorrow I will be watching the second and third episode, and I will do individual reviews of it. Um, oh, uh, I definitely did not mention this in the video that I will be uploading next, uh, but I did get the Queen of Shadows. I think it, yeah, it's the fourth, fourth Throne of Glass um, no a novel. 
I bought that. It's supposed to be coming in tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. And it's just kind of, like, weird with that. It's like, I thought I paid it using my gift card. And it turns out I had to go back and make sure that they took it off my gift card. I don't understand. All right. So, I'm going to hear, and I will see you guys around. Bye.